how's everybody doing today all right I was going to finish a build that I had I'm wrapping up that MSI case that I'm putting all kinds of stuff in and then I'm gonna do the video when I finish editing on the complete build but I've been kind of itching to pull my GPU apart and change the thermals in it it's new well six months old but I wanted to take a peek and see what was inside I picked up some thermal pads and I picked up some optic thermal paste. The thermal pads are made by a company that I can barely pronounce. It was rated number one and number two on just about every place I looked. It's called a A I Y U N N I I any I any A any I don't know A any Yay! All right. Anyways, it was number one, number two in thermal pads. Um, it's probably double the price of the regular stuff that you can get from Amazon um, normal. But before we get started, you definitely want to get, if you're going to go through the problem, trouble, open this up, which isn't a big deal. It's really worth it. It's really easy to get your heat down. You're going to need some good rubbing alcohol, 91%. You're going to need some good um, paper towels that don't fiber up very easily. They don't tear apart. You're gonna need a good razor knife and a smaller one probably. Of course, optic. And one of the most important things is a magnetic screwdriver. A good screwdriver with a good hard metal tip so you don't strip out your screws and a way to warm up that little sticker so you don't void the warranty. <laughs> Anyways, all right, I'm gonna try that. I don't know if it's gonna work, but wish me luck. Hey, so these are the things we're gonna need. It's pretty simple, pretty easy, and we're gonna get started. And like I was saying, I don't know if I'm gonna void the warranty or not, but that's the little thing. The thingy, the little stick, and they put it right over one of the screws. So, I don't know if there's anything else in there, but we'll take a look. I'm not really worried about it. I mean, if you were going to water block it or anything like that, the warranty would be pretty much gone anyways. From the looks of the way I might have damaged this little sticker, I don't know if it would pass an inspection. So, it probably only has six months on it left anyways. Okay, so, onward. What I will advise is when you're doing this, you definitely want to get some decent tools. You want to get a fix-it kit. Something with some very, very, very fine, very fine stuff in it like the smallest star driver in the world I mean fortunately I had the tools so here we are at this last one these are very you gotta be careful with these these are spring loaded okay so I just popped that last one off Pull this off carefully. And in here, there's gonna be a couple of, let's see, let's take this one off first. This is thin. I'm trying to not get the thermal paste on me. Let me set it back this way. Okay, that's easier. Yeah, here we go. Okay. 
Okay, I got that popped out. Okay, so what we do end up with it doesn't look too bad. Good coverage. But I am gonna it looks a little dry. I think we could have had better contact on this one and that one right there. So I'm gonna probably stack her a little bit thicker. This looks pretty cool. And we could have used some more thermal paste. As you can see, very small plugs. You gotta be careful with them. This is almost like a putty. Maybe it's from being heated up. You can see where the other one, it's attached still to the a piece of VRAM to the stick of VRAM. So, this is nickel plated copper actually. So, if you're thinking that it's aluminum or chrome, it's not. Um, the reason I'm saying and I'm doing this is because ASUS, Gigabyte, I mean, let's all the, all the companies, they, they make really nice components. But when it comes to things like thermal paste clips and stuff they're just like any other company where they're not going to go out and get the top of the line the best they're going to get every company has what they call as a bottom line as far as a standard that they set most companies especially like asus i imagine they would step it up a little bit but i can't see them going with the number one product it's like this thermal paste this this, this isn't nothing to brag about This stuff looks pretty good. Has a good contact. This one definitely needs a little work. But that's going to have to get cleaned. So now that we have that, and I do recommend when you're doing this, that you keep it on something anti static. Be careful how you're handling things. Is our little GPU with the non-conductive obviously they don't worry about running over onto the uh, the rest of the components so we'll get that cleaned up in a second okay so I've been doing a little bit of cleaning it's starting to come around I'd say that's looking pretty good you're never gonna get a little microscopic components down in there it's almost impossible I just want to get this heat sink a little cleaner That's, this is some strange thermal pads it's different than other ones I've seen it's almost like a clay which I would think probably gives pretty good so I think I'm not gonna mess with the thermal pads they look in good shape except for that one right there so I say that's pretty clean but as you can see you have a thermal pad on here. It's weird they put a whole strip on the other thing. I don't know why they just needed to put one thermal pad, but instead they ran a whole bloody thing. I guess maybe they wanted to put a little bit touching this. I'm not sure. Thermal pads along here. Thermal pads over here, and you also have a strip running down there. That did get some good coverage. So actually, I really, really don't want to mess with this. Um, you know something these could almost use them but there's nothing touching it I can see how they've got the air blowing directly down on it so that must that must be it as far as cleaning this stuff off I'm just about there I mean all you gotta do is just it might look like this still a little bit but it's it's off Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna just clean this up a little bit more. We'll throw it back together. And remember, again, you're gonna need a, uh, one of those very, 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 it's gotta be very hard tools as far as like the tips. I'd recommend Magnetic and the company Fix It, somebody that specializes in it because you're also gonna have spring-loaded stuff. That. You're gonna have some of those. You're gonna have these crazy little microscopic star drivers. Although there's only like three different types. And then you're gonna have your regular, your regular um, Phillips head to hold things down. So we got pretty lucky. Everything came off good. Everything looks good. I think it could have definitely used a little more higher quality thermal paste on the GPU and that's what we're gonna take care of. Then we're gonna do a temperature check. Okay, when it comes to putting thermal paste on a GPU, really, don't be shy. I didn't go to the edges, but it is thick enough in the middle where it will spread out. It's probably gonna get on there a little bit, but that's the way it came, and you don't want it too thin because then you won't get good coverage, good contact. So I'd have to say that's pretty good. I know it looks messy, but it is what it is. Some people make it so perfect, and they, for what, so they can smash it together? Okay. Okay, when you're putting these fans on, let's see the wires are back on now. You definitely want them to clip in together. Watch how you guide them in. You don't want to move it around too much. Should land just right. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Now we're getting good contact. There's a difference there. So the main thing that I am concerned with, first and foremost, is absolutely getting the GPU spring-loaded and arms down. And with that, you're gonna need a fine tool, a very small tipped screwdriver. And there it is. Well, it's lining up good. You just wanna get the few threads in the first one. Okay, yeah, I popped it out. machine that locks onto this and does all four at the same time. Okay, I can see I'm probably going to have to get a clamp smaller screwdriver okay I just had to line it up when you're putting this bracket back on it does go a certain way yeah see how you got pressure on there so sometimes maybe the little clamp might help like I did on the other side but I think we got it from here crisscross at first got that one got that one 
all you want to get is a couple threads get it lined up get it where you want it and then bingo it's all in the rest is just getting all these other little ones put back in I like to keep it on some anti-static stuff I actually changed out and used this on one of my um, my my M.2 and as well as that I am putting it on the M.2 that's going in this build that I'm finishing up today I gotta get this out of here it's been sitting around a while okay so here we are getting ready to button it up same thing here you want to evenly get things screwed down as soon as it's snug it's done quick two last screws um, actually tomorrow I have a magnetic pot bowl coming in I should have got one a long time ago you lose one of these little screws and you're in a world of hurt well I wouldn't say a world of hurt but good luck trying to find something for it This is basically just the RTX cover. That's all that is. Let's sweat that. Okay, we got these two back ones. Get that screwed there. Screw there. You guys want me to go fast forward on this? Exactly the way I like it. Okay, there we go. One rule, probably pretty much a rule with everything. If it doesn't want to go, I don't force it. Step back, step back, and look at it. That's a star driver thing. That's it. We're gonna put it back in. Hopefully it doesn't flame up. We'll see what the temps are. I'll take a look. I've got it written down on the computer. So I'll be able to see if there's a degree or two or three and hopefully at least five or better. Okay, folks, there we have it. A little bit of cleaning. It's a brand new CPU. We're running at 42 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 30. 84, 84 Fahrenheit. That's like 30, 31 Celsius. So that is chill. Definitely seen, I wanna say at least a 10, 15 degree drop. I'm happy with that. That's a little bit of change in putting some better um, some better thermals on there such as a, a higher quality um, thermal paste and uh, just beefing it up a little bit in there and 
the dam. Look at that, 84 degrees. That's in Fahrenheit. That is cool. I already ran some benchmarks. It's starting to cool down now. This is pretty much our idle after benchmarks. So there you have it. Does it work? Yes. Make sure you get the right tools if you do this. It's very easy. Keep track of your, your screws and things. Take your time. And even on older GPUs, getting your temperature down like that will lower your um, chances of thermal, thro thermal um, throttling anytime. And it'll improve your frame rate, game rate, and power. So everybody, have a good day. I gotta go build another computer.